Good evening, fellow collectors. April 25th, 2009. Our second video today. And in this video, we are going to look at two autograph items of the Beatles from the Coach's Corner auction site. Lots number 5 and 702. Now, for about two or three weeks, I've been doing some research on Beatles autographs. Now, I don't know anything about Beatles autograph items, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you an exemplar of a legitimate Beatles, all four signed, autograph piece of paper. And then I'm going to show you lots number 5 and 702 on the Coach's Corner auction site. And I want somebody, uh, hopefully a Beatles autograph expert collector, to be directed to this video and then to put down their comments below this YouTube video. Now the one thing I did discover and find out is that finding a legitimate all four Beatles autographed item is very, 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 very rare. I looked on eBay present auctions, completed auctions, I could not find one legitimate Beatles, all four autographed items that sold. Now I can tell you this from doing my research, and that is an all four signed Beatles guitar goes for at least $100,000. As a matter of fact, I found this doing my research, a nice piece of paper here with all four Beatles autographs, nice flow, nice natural handwriting flow. This went for approximately $15,000 just on a piece of paper. Now if you look on eBay right now, you'll see some guitars, PSA authenticated, uh, of um, individual Beatles like Ringo and George going for about three and a half grand. So they're not cheap. This piece of paper went for $15,000. Now. As rare as autograph items are with all four Beatles on them, Coach's Corner seems to have them on their auction site every single month. Two and three, every single month. Where are they getting them from and why aren't they being authenticated by a legitimate authentication service to really you know, prop up the price? It's not happening. And I'll show you this one right here. This is lot number five on the Coach's Corner auction site. Look at those autographs. If you go to the website, www.myccsa.com, I would love some Beatle collectors who know these autographs to leave their comments under this YouTube video and let us know what they think of the two items that I am going to show you tonight. Um, I've got my own idea. I'm not going to reveal it here. I want the viewers and the real collectors of Beatle memorabilia to comment on this stuff. I can tell you right now, both of these items that I'm going to show you are authenticated by Ted Taylor and Jeff Stevens. Stat Authentic. What are they doing authenticating Beatle autographs? That's my question to those two guys. I want you guys to reply to this and uh, give me an answer. Why are you two guys, and where are you getting this stuff from? Nobody else has it. But you guys have two or three of these up every single month. Let me know. Ted, Jeff, where are you getting this stuff from? Why isn't it going for big money? These two items, Lot 5 and 702, with the auction ending tonight, are not going for big money at all. Which means that Beetle Collectors... The ones who know their stuff are not bidding on this stuff. They're not bidding on it for a reason. But I'm hoping Beetle Autograph Experts, Collectors, will comment on this video and let me know. Now this here is lot number 702. You can go to the auction site, maybe get a clearer view of it. But I want some experts and real collectors to comment under this video. I want to hear some comments. I will... Put a title on this that will allow it to be high on a Google search. All right? Like I said, I've been doing a lot of research on Beatles autographs, so I know for a fact that anything with all four Beatles on them is very, 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 very extremely rare. And here is a piece that went for over $15,000 with all four Beatles on them. So... I'm hoping true collectors will see this video and make their comments below this video. 
I also want to know from Ted, Jeff, and Lee, how come they are getting two or three of these up every month on their auction site? Nobody else has this stuff. Nobody else but you do. And none of it is ever authenticated by PSA or JSA. None of it. And why are you guys authenticating Beatles autographs? I want, I want some answers from you guys. So until then, please direct Beatle experts to this video, and I will talk to you all later on.